<laughs> that was a solid hit. Hello everybody, welcome back to It's Whatever. Today, we're gonna to be torture testing an Ace Jet throwing knife. Okay, we're gonna have three different tests. We're gonna be throwing the Ace Jet Stinger against the metal targets to see what it does to the tip of the knife. Then we're gonna test the flexibility of it. Last of all, if it survives all those, we're going to shoot it again with something a lot bigger than a 45. So let's get started. Okay, tailgate first to see what it does to the knife. So far it's undamaged, here we go. Okay. Nothing. Nothing to the tip of the knife. We made a nice little hole there in our tailgate. Okay, so tailgate. Now it's time for the uh, regular steel. Oh, a little bit of bird poop on there. Let me flip it around. There it is. That's the clean side. Let's see how long it takes me to hit that. Here it is. Oh, broke it off. That wasn't even a straight, solid hit on the tip. It just, well, it did hit it. But not great. Not straight on, and it broke it. We don't even need to go to the leaf spring. If you're throwing at metal, it will break the uh, Ace Jet knife's tip off. Alrighty, second test. We're gonna test the flexibility of the knife with a three pound single jack. See if I can uh, break it. I am a little bit afraid of this, so that's why I have a welding mask to protect my face and my neck a little bit. No bend whatsoever. Do it again. See, it's already got a little bit of a bend to it. I mean, it is quite thick, but it did bend just a little bit, and I hit it pretty darn hard. All right, everyone, final test. The Ace Jet throwing knife withstood a hammer, only bent a little bit. All right, I didn't hit it exactly as hard as I could, but I did hit it pretty hard. It did not survive the uh, metal test. It broke the tip off on some steel. But the last test we have, we are going to be shooting this thing with a 30-06. All right, 175 grain, uh, military reload. We'll see what it does. See if it destroys it, breaks it in half, leaves a dent, or nothing at all. We'll find out. Okay, let's see if we can hit this thing. 30 out of 6. One miss. I think we skimmed it. Let's go take a look at that. All right, here it is. Looks like it might have hit it in the middle. 
right there but nothing happened to it so let's try it again one more time here we go again <laughs> that was a solid hit sent that knife flying oh my goodness let's go take a look at that Hopefully my slow-mo camera made it without any damage. It did and it's still rolling. Sweet. Okay. So here's where the knife was. You can see, looks like lead particles in a line where it got hit by the bullet. Let's go find it. Where did it go? I'll get back to you when I find it. All right, I've been looking for a half an hour and I finally found it. Right there, see? Buried in the dirt. 69 yards from where I was sitting when I shot it. Anyway, let's take a look. <laughs> look at that. Ooh, and the knife's hot. All it did was tweak it a little bit. Right on the ace jet, wow. Not bad. Still throwable, I think. So yes, it survived the shot. But it sure flung it a long way. That's amazing. It took me a while to find that uh, knife, but we got it. Only slightly bent from a 30 out 6. See? You can see it making a little S. That's where I hit it with the hammer, made it bow up. That's where I hit it with the bullet, made it bow down. Still throwable, I think, though. I think it'll still work. The tips broke off, which it always does on every knife I've ever owned. But this one I had to work at it to break the tip off. If you want to check these knives out, there's a link down in the description where you can go ahead and take a look and see what these are. These are the Stingers. And like this video and subscribe for more stuff coming out. And I will see you next time. Goodness, that one was loud. <laughs>